Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a video on a new OBD2 scanner that I bought off eBay. This is the Elm 320, uh, 327 and it plugs into your car's OBD2 connector and this is a Bluetooth uh, connection, has a Bluetooth connection which I'm going to use to connect to my uh, tablet, Android tablet. Uh, this device also comes with a CD that has some uh, application you can load on your PC but when I got the disc, the um, disc actually cracked cracked in one part of it so I can't even use it but I'm not going to bother using the software that, that's on this disc everybody on the web you know, recommend this program it's called Torque Pro the Torque Pro is five dollars there's a free version but I heard the free version is limited in what you can, uh, what, what data you can access so I'm gonna go to my car, get this set up, and then I'm gonna show you how to get the Bluetooth to connect to my tablet. Uh, one more thing is I'm gonna do two parts to this video. This first part is gonna be just setting it up so I can connect this Elm 327 to the tablet, and then the second video I'm gonna uh, talk about some of the uh, some of the um, information you can get off the uh, Torque Pro. Uh, as you can tell this is a brand new uh, device I got so I, I don't really know uh, what are all the uh, ins and outs of this program so anyways um, let me run downstairs and uh, get this connected. I'm in my car now and you can see where I plugged the Elm 327 in the OBD2 connector uh, in my car and you will see the red LED on right now. After you plug this in, uh, I went ahead and turned my ignition to the uh, running position or on position. You don't need the car started. So let me try to pair this device on my and Android tablet. Uh, I'm going to go select settings and let's select Bluetooth and on here it's going to search for available devices, OBD2. Let's click on that, pairing. So it asks for a code, and it should be 1234. So let's try 1234. Let's see if that works. Pin contains letters or symbols. Go OK. Yep, it's paired up because the other option right now is unpair. So let's go back to home and I have the Torque Pro software here. Let's see. Let's try adapter set a status. Connection to adapter, yes. Connection to ECU is yes. Bluetooth enabled, yes. Let's see what else. So this is the status page of the Elm 327. The version on this is 1.4. And available sensors has all the list of available sensors for my vehicle. Let's go back real-time information yeah, let's see fault codes tap here scan for faults or press menu for more options I don't know if there are any faults No fault codes stored in ECU. Well, that's good. Let's go back. Let me uh, turn off 
my ignition and start this up and see what other data I'll get. So let's go back to the Elm 327. You can see that there's more LEDs flashing. And back in the Torque Pro software, it registers the uh, RPM. Real-time information. Again, I haven't played with this at all. It's my very first time, so I'm just checking out to see what kind of uh, information is available uh, right out of the box. So there's revs, speed, coolant temperature, uh, throttle, uh, XL, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if that's acceleration, vacuum. I think there's more customization you can do to this, but again, I'm just turning this on for the first time, so. Um, graphing. I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit more. But uh, that's mainly the first part of this video I wanna do, is to show you guys how um, to pair your Android device to the uh, Elm 327 OBD2 uh, scanner and next video I'm gonna show you guys what I've learned from this software and how to customize some of the uh, graphics on this so thank you for watching